The IRS has announced that it is sending millions of payments this very month. Whoever has received a, for a refund check can expect to receive this important letter. In response to the crisis, the U.S. government in 2020 and 2021 decided to send out massive stimulus checks. On one hand, the payments helped prevent the American economy from falling into deep recessions and upsend the stock market to fresh all-time highs. On the other hand, experts are saying that they were contributing to the rising cost of living and inflation. The U.S. Census Bureau data seems to support this, as 11.7 million people were moved out of poverty in 2020 thanks to the stimulus. But while most experts agree that initial stimulus payments were needed as they continued later into 2020 and 2021, many recipients just used them to pay their checks and their bank accounts. A stand by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco estimated the stimulus added as much as 3 percentage points to the inflation rate by the end of 2021. Although in the initial stages of the crisis, consumers used stimulus money to pay down debt to the tune of $83 billion in reduction in credit card debt. Those trends have since reversed. Total household debt, which also includes auto loans, home mortgages, and student debt, hit a record of $15 trillion at the beginning of 2022. And the New York Fed, among many others, expects credit card debt to keep rising above the current levels of $141 billion. Current curious labor statistics during the 2020 and 2022 period is how total Unfiled job vacancies initially fell at the onset of the crisis, but have since skyrocketed to new, re to new record highs. Not all politicians, economists, and, financials, and financial analysts agree with the belief that the stimulus payments triggered the current inflationary crisis. Even the former president can presidential candidate Andrew Yang has said that the stimulus payments were too low and too short-lived to fully help the American people. Now, it's all but certain that the stimulus payments in 2020 and 2021 helped jumpstart inflation, but they're not the only cause. Supply chain shortages is another factor that is likely keeping inflation high. The stimulus payments had other effects as well, both positive and negative, with the greatest benefit likely being that they kept the U.S. out of an extended economic contradiction at the onset of the crisis. The IRS this month will send millions of letters to taxpayers whom they believe they underpaid, who, who they believe underpaid the tax agency. It's important to pay attention to the slot of everybody because ignoring it can cause and lead your penalties. The IRS issues roughly 9 million of these letters annually, and this letter, and this year the letter is unusual, given that the agency had stopped sending many types of notices and letters due to the crisis. Several states have approved stimulus checks. Americans will now, will now have to take action to claim or receive this money. And I know many of you are wondering whether you can actually receive this. Well, here's what I want you to know. 10 states will send one-time payments to taxpayers in the coming months. In addition, 10 states have introduced proposals to send similar payments. Similar payments. Unlike previous relief checks, unlike previous relief measures, these payments are much more targeted. According to experts, this is more about helping Americans weather rising prices without making inflation worse. Plans focused on specific sectors of groups or gas cards or disbursements based on income thresholds. In theory, it could help ease the pain caused by the pieces of specific goods or, or services without putting as much pressure on prices more broadly. To prepare them for retirement, the Social Security benefits that they will receive are inadequate to allow them to live out their remaining years in dignity. So what this budget resolution brought forth by Senator Paul does is exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. Instead of expanding Medicare to make sure that every man, woman, and child in this country has health care as a human right, this is a budget that would lead to devastating cuts to Medicare, cuts to Medicaid. Democratic lawmakers are finally making huge progress on the Ford stimulus package, and it has been decided that billions of dollars in unused relief money will be going towards new stimulus checks for certain Americans. If you want to receive this Ford stimulus check, then be sure to continue watching this video because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. The Pennsylvania legislature has until June 30th to pass a new budget approaches. Pass a new budget. Support for some spending of the state's billions of dollars in remaining stimulus money and surplus tax revenue is gaining bipartisan action. Discussions are preliminary and top budget negotiators want to reach a deal as soon as possible, but lawmakers, lobbyists, and top staff pointed to a small number of partisan proposals that have been put forward. On issues from the environment to child care, there could be building blocks for a spending plan. The House Appropriations Ch Committee Chair told a part of this week that we move forward trying to identify areas of agreement first, and then we'll identify areas of disagreement and try to work through those. 
Each year, Pennsylvania's governor and legislature must agree on how to route tens of billions of dollars to education, economic, development, and human services. These are decisions that affect every person in Pennsylvania. But the state's financial picture has changed in recent years, with the state's coffers getting a $8 billion boost from stimulus money in 2021. In response, Wolf and his legislative allies called on the legislature to spend some of that windfall on higher education, paid family leave, and school repairs, among many other priorities. Early this year, Wolf released a budget proposal that would appropriate billions of dollars more to education and infrastructure. Republicans countered that additional spending would actually, would actually fiscally be responsible. But everybody, Pennsylvania still has about $2 billion in remaining stimulus money and at least $5 billion in surplus tax revenue. To address the soaring cost of living and inflation, Governor Wolf is pushing the legislature to approve using American Rescue Plan money to give people $2,000 stimulus checks. They would go to every household earning less than $80,000, which is the majority of people in Pennsylvania. Other issues are are getting Republican attention, everybody. Like more state funding for child care and pre-K, nursing home, and housing. Progressive lawmakers have been building bipartisan support to, for a broad housing plan, Whole Homes Repair Fund, which would actually use stimulus money to provide grants to homeowners and landlords alike to make renovations big and small. After two years and six relief bills into the crisis, the U.S. has spent the majority of its available stimulus relief funding, but billions of dollars across a handful of categories have not gone out the door. Beginning under the former president and continuing now with President Biden, Congress has approved some $4.5 trillion in total aid spending. According to Treasury Department data, federal agencies have formally committed to using about $4 trillion in that, and have made about $3.5 trillion in actual payments to date. Budget experts say that it can often take time for the total pot of funds to make its way to the American people. That's because government agencies such as the SBA and Department of Labor go through a process of legally committing to a portion of a lot of funding, which is known as obligating. Then they start to actually spend it. The $500 billion or so in available relief resources have not been obligated and may not end up being spent by agencies. What are your thoughts on this, everybody? Is President Biden going to do something about this and help out the American people with stimulus checks this year? Or will President Biden hold back the stimulus? Tell me what you think on this. Mr. Dodaro, I'm going to start with a round of questions, and then uh, it looks like the next person up will be Senator Johnson. Um, Mr. Dodaro, to date, GAO has made 121 recommendations on actions that Congress could take to address the wasteful spending and inefficient operations listed in the annual duplication report. There are currently 59 open recommendations. How should Congress prioritize which recommendations to address? Are there particular recommendations that you think we should focus on first? Uh, I absolutely think those recommendations that have significant dollar savings potential ought to be among the top priorities. Right. You know, I issued a report last month that I've repeatedly uh, warned Congress that the federal government is on an unsustainable long-term fiscal path. The more actions Congress could take to reduce federal spending, the more uh, that situation will help be resolved over time. There's also 